This is the game where we take on the big boys, Juventus at the Juventus Allianz Arena. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Zagreb save. I am Cultured Left Foot and we are taking on Juventus. We find ourselves top of the group with a goal difference of seven and two wins from two in the Champions League. Uh, FC Porto got an absolute smashing by us. 4-0 uh, we beat them at home. So we haven't conceded a goal yet. However, I think Juventus at the Juventus Allianz Stadium, not arena, sorry, uh, is going to be... The, the toughest test we'll have. They have actually lost a game. They lost to Porto uh, away. And they drew 0-0 with CSKA. CSK so not the best team in the world. But, you know, they're very, very good, aren't they, Juventus? They're looking like they're going to be good. Um, they've got a good team. Robinson Luiz is my leading striker for my Brazil squad. And I know he he, blinds, he, he breathes hot or cold. He's either very, very good or, or not. And, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where he scored these goals. Like, how many does he get in in certain games? If we've got... Uh, actually, if we get a report and form. So, yes, he scores in like 2, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2. So, he scores in sort of like patterns. If he gets 1, he'll generally get 2. But, yeah, we've been doing all right. Uh, we got a little bit of a press warning about our job, which I think was a load of bollocks because we've just been given a new contract. So, uh, they were like, oh, you, you know, he's got to turn around this bad form. Because in the league... Yeah, we lost 2-0 to Lokomotiva, which we saw. Um, and then we lost 1-0 to Dynamo, which wasn't very good. And we drew 2-2 with Rijeka. And then we went and smashed Slav and Blupo. I can officially say we have given up on the Libero formation. It doesn't work. It doesn't. Three at the back doesn't work on Football Manager this year. Um, because what happens is if they play one person up front, your two like centre-backs that are on the side just go to defend the wings. And then that guy just runs through the middle. So I've given up on that. So our, now our backup formation for the league is actually a 4-2-4 to make us more attacking. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. However, in the Champions League, we're still going to stick with this. We've just dropped it down to positive rather than attacking because uh, we seem to play slightly better with that. We're taking the wing backs back onto a support role uh, and allowing the front three to all be attacking. But bad news is that DG Como has picked up uh, quite a bad injury. If we take away uh, the unavailable stuff... Yes, he's picked up. Uh, he's still got two weeks out, a lower back stress fracture, which was very, very annoying. Um, but we have been struggling for goals in his absence. It does show how much of a difference he makes. Uh, Nikola Tesla is now leading the line. He's got four goals, which isn't too bad. Uh, Forde has got seven as well. I should probably actually start Forde over probably Simeonovic in this lineup. Um, yeah, so Forde has been playing pretty well. Uh, Rugani's going to start this game purely because he's just better than Benkovic. If there's one place I want to improve in the January transfer window, it's going to be to buy a new centre-back because Benkovic really can't do it anymore. I could put Picard back there. That could be a shout to do that, to make him into a new centre-back for us. He did play there quite a bit last season uh, and played well. So he would, and if we do that, then we need to buy a new backup left-back because, yeah, we don't have any left-backs other than uh, Tosic. Obviously, Hernandez is here. Uh, Rugani, Harry Winks, and Hernandez are all retiring in about a month's time. So, yeah, that could be a bit of an issue because they're going to retire. I think it's after the Moscow game, which means against Porto, we're going to have to play Benkovic or Picard at centre-back and hope that Veselinovic doesn't get an injury. But, yeah, and then we go into the window, so I'll be on the lookout for a new centre-back uh, at those times. But generally... It's going okay. We find ourselves third in the league, which isn't the best, but we're only two points off top. I still do believe we've got enough about us to go and win the league. Uh, that's not a problem. What I think we've found is that we're struggling to actually beat the better teams again. I think I am rotating my teams quite a lot. But, um, yeah, like the game against Dynamo, we, we battered them. Couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Um, Rijeka, we battered. They had two shots on target. Both of them went in. Um, even Lokomotiva, I think we completely outplayed them in the second half. So, yeah, it's an interesting thing. It's, it's giving a bit of a competitive element back to the league, which is which is good. It's good to, to be challenged like that. But this is how we're going to start in today's game. Um, so we'll just get into it. And uh, and then I'm taking undertaking. If we've got time, we'll play the next game as well, which I think is Hey Duke, uh, which will be good. But, yeah, Gonzalez in goal, Milan, Rugani, Veselinovic and Tosic. Torres, Marco Antonio and Thompson in the middle. Uh, Fore, Loda and Nikola Tesla 
up front. Now, Harry Winks has been actually doing okay in the league when he's played as a, as a playmaker, uh, which is good. But, yeah, obviously he's retiring in November, which doesn't really help. So we're away. Let's just go with... Um, we're the underdogs. That suits us to the ground. We normally do okay when we say we're the underdogs. There is still an, an essence to this team that we are the underdogs in some games. The fact that we're actually top of the group, I'd probably suggest we're not underdogs. But even if we lose this game, we're going to remain uh, top of the group, which is which is a good thing to say because yeah, we'll be on six and they'll be on four. So and we'll be top depending that we don't get a smash on goal difference. Tosic is getting really tired. He can't handle playing two games in a week for us, then an international fixture, and then two games again. So after this game, he'll probably get a breather and Picard will come into left back, but. We'll have to see how we get on. Barello up to Almendra. All the way back to Decisio. Or Decico. Out to Diallo. Diallo on the right-hand side. Gets past his man. Ball into the middle. Comes to Vio and he shoots past the post. And uh, It's looking like a good positive start from Juventus. So you can see Barella has a similar thing to Tosic. Uh, he's down to 80% fitness already. So hopefully we can use our central midfielders that have had a good long break to take advantage of uh, the fact Barella is a bit tired. Victero into Decisio, it's fallen to Thompson, into Tesla, Nikola Tesla squares it, Thompson shoots, and Arnise makes the save, and they're the sort of chances we're going to need to put away. And um, we just need to make sure we've got enough about us here. Uh, let's go and demand a little bit more. Um, we're doing okay, we are doing okay, and everything's going at Vio, into the box, shoots past the post again. But top of the group you know if if the way it stands are if we beat porto and we beat moscow again we're going through which is which is good part of me is a little bit sad we haven't had a crack at the europa league because i would like to win it and the other times i didn't say so in the maribor save when i've ever done a, a like a club to glory sort of save you always seem to win the europa league first and it was a good it was a good point with Maribor because I think we actually won it back to back and then we went and won the Champions League a couple of seasons afterwards as Barella lays it out to, to Vio. They've tried to work a short free kick here and it's actually left a bit of space for Almendre on the left hand side and Jara fires the ball home. Anibal Jara for Juventus, their first shot on target and it's gone in the back of the net which is always the way on Football Manager. Very, very annoying. We are playing well though. Um, Arnise goes long. And uh, Vesanovic beat Robinson Louise in the air, and Vivo keeps that alive into Jara again. Jara holds it up into Vio. Vio back to Vocaturo into Robinson Louise. Almendra got blocked once, blocked twice, and goat behind. I'm just wondering if we need to go slightly more attacking. But De Kigo Torres just hoofs it away, but Loder actually brings that down really well. He comes forward into Forde. Forde lays it in. Oh, he just didn't put the ball in front of Tesla, oh, which means it was end of the attacking move, and that's a really poor pass from four day let's um let's look at what we can do here let's we'll go a little bit more direct with our play might lower the tempo and go a bit patient actually that might work out better going away to Juventus try and be patient and control the game four day really not enjoying this game against Juventus Tosic might have to come off for Picard because he is very very I was going to say unwell technically he's not unwell he's just not fully fit, he hasn't got the best condition but as we get into half time it looks like we're going to be 1-0 down in Turin which isn't the best but they haven't really threatened us, they've only had two shots on target and one of them's gone in hmm, okay I might need to tweak training a little bit as well just so that we're training stuff that I want to do with the tactics, do I say yeah, we'll say we appreciate their efforts and hopefully that'll just give them the encouragement they need I think we are going to um, we're going to go to a low tempo and much shorter passing. Try and really work it around and knacker them out a little bit. Might be bad to do that against an Italian team, but uh, Fore is going to come off to be replaced by Simeonovic. That was the one I was toying with, and then I went with Fore because he is a little bit better. Um, Six point five. Regani's having a shocker. He can come off a of Benko. Oh, well, though, because that'll be all three subs. Because I'll have to do Tosic at some point. I'm going to take Rugani off for Picard, knowing that then we can move Picard to left back and bring on Benkovic at centre back. But Rugani needs to up his game a little bit, and yeah, we need to get a bit more out of this. Let's just try and push it. We could go to attacking as well, 
So we'll actually be playing at a lower tempo, but more players pushing up into attack. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I need to keep an eye on Tosic. He is absolutely shattered already. and We've only played 56 minutes. Oh, ideally, I would want to take Tesla off and maybe give Cabrera a run. It does. This shows how much we look for or we miss for for DJ Como Torres to Lola, who won the ball back originally. Tesla tries to put Thompson in, but it's a really poor pass, and that's gone over the top. Gobby's in, and he doesn't miss that. It's Alberto Gobby. It's two nil, and uh, this is not a good showing from us here. Let's go back to this. Actually, we're going to do a few more. We're going to go run and be more expressive as well. Because we do like to do that. We just haven't been at the races today. Jara to Mashek into Vio. Jara is there again. Ball in. Gobby's beaten in the air. Del Rosso picks it up. Goes to Almendra. Ball in. Milan with a hoofed clearance away. Thompson gets on it. And Tesla should be allowed to get there. Simeonovic on the right hand side. Runs forward. Cuts in field. Torres. Good ball out left to Tosic. Tosic ball in. Looking for Tesla. Thompson picks it up. Antonio shoots. Can't get that on target. And I think that'll be the end of Tossage's game just because he is so, so shattered. And then we'll swap those two over like that. And that will be it. We're going to go attacking. We're going to try and put them under pressure. Let's get creative, guys. Three shots on target, two goals is so annoying. It really is annoying. Tesla and Simonovic. This is where Tesla and Simonovic is just... They're not at this level. But hopefully DJ Como won't be out for too long. As Gobby's in again. Gonzalez makes a good save. I also think when it comes down to the next registration for the for the Champions League, I'm going to put Aquino, the striker, in because he is better than the other two. As um, Almendra picks up that loose ball, Del Rosso put under pressure, finds Volcoso into Vio, back to Del Rosso again. Almendra and Juventus just sort of toying with us here. Jara shoots; he should have put, slipped through the runner from midfield. I mean, I'm not giving up. We've still got time. 15 minutes. We've done it before. Uh, we can go and do it again. Let's. Um, Let's go narrow. Let's go standard. Let's distribute to the flanks. Don't slow it down. Uh, out of possession. Let's get really in their faces. And I think, do we want to go narrow or do we want to go wide? They are sort of playing with width. I think that might open us up a little bit to through balls through the middle. But we need to try and make a difference here as Justin Clivert comes on for Vukotaro. As the ball goes into Gobby. Gobby back to Cliver, into Almendra, into Jara. Jara ball through to Vio. Good save from Gonzalez again. Ten minutes to go. Let's go for it. Come on. Vio on the edge of the box, into the area. Good block on the shot from Marco Antonio. Cliver, Tesla heads it away. Almendra holds up. Desico, Desico into Macek, into Acosta and Juventus again. Keeping the ball well. Ball across. Vio's in space and... Oh man, we are... Not doing well here. We're actually going to go very narrow with our defensive shape now because I think they're trying to play the ball through the middle. Hasn't just been at the races today. We just haven't clicked. And that's annoying to say as Vio gets the ball. Ball over the top. Picard, that's a terrible head. That annoys me in football manager because no defender would do that. No defender would head that to nobody. There. They would either let it bounce and then bring it down because there's no one around him. Like there's no one around him. He would He would let it bounce this way. And either try and see it out or then control it after it's come down. It's a lovely finish from Jara. It's 3 0 Juventus. And oh, all in all, this is very disappointing. Milan to Antonio. Back to Milan. Milan goes over the top looking for Tesla. Into Almendra, though. And Mahacek is there. Vio. Back to Mahacek. Into Del Rosso. Into Acosta. All the way back to Arnais. Or Arnise. Arnis. I don't know how you would say that. Acosta. Out to Clivert. Cliver again looking for Vio, but Torres picks up the ball from the header down. Tesla is trying to get in behind, his shot's blocked, and it goes out behind. But, I mean, all in all, it's been pretty crap. They come back into the game, we're up and fiddling around with tactics a bit. We still stay top of the group, so it is in our hands, as I said. Beat CSK, beat uh, Porto again. That's another six points on the board. That's 12 points, that's always enough to put you through uh, in the Champions League. So... That's what I'm going for. I don't really appreciate your efforts. I'm actually going to say I'm not happy. And I'm glad that fired you up. Yeah, good. Right, we'll be back for the game against High Duke. Oh, yes, Croatia Cup. We drew Dynamo Zagreb in the second round. So God knows if we're going to go through or not. Um, brilliant. Robinson Luis. We injured Robinson Luis. Yes, Toshit needs a rest. And you were looking over a lot of good players. We'll send Marco to go and do that. Very disappointing, that result. Very, very disappointing. But we'll be back. Uh, for the game against Hey Duke. 
Okay, we're back for the game against Hey Duke, and we're lining up in the 4-2-4, um, just so you can see it, really. I'm hoping we get the win. Obviously, I'm hoping we get the win. I'm the manager. Uh, Gonzalez in goal, Milan, Rugani, Veslovic, and Tosic does stay in, even though he's pretty damn tired. Um, I need to push the most out of him that we can. Marco Antonio and Thompson in the middle. Souza and Lefore on the wings. Tesla and Aquino does come in up front. Cabrera on the bench. Uh, Contreras and Loder on the bench as well. Bermudez, Larea and Benkovic and Torres on there as well just in case we change formation. Now we normally counter this by playing wide but we're going to stick with how we're playing. Um, we are going to have to go and put in a much better performance than last time but Hey Duke is very, very annoying because we've smashed them early on in the season. We're actually going to get the assistant to do that as well. So tunnel, uh, send assistant to that. Let's go there. We're going to play attacking in a 4-2-4. Try and get the ball under our controls. Yes, they have Mikel Orejo. That is the same Mikel Orejo that we had. It's very annoying. Draculic we sold to them earlier on this season as well as uh, straight away we give away a free kick which is a little bit annoying I just need to check that is the same Mikel Arejo I'm pretty sure it is I think I checked last time Thompson to Forde Forde falls to Aquino Tosic Thompson is tackled Greaves goes long and Vargas gets in behind Vargas he's just dribbled that past the goalkeeper like not he's dribbled it past the goalkeeper the ball has dribbled past the goalkeeper oh man Greaves just hoofs it long it's over the top. Vargas is there. We may need to think about dropping our line back, to be honest. Oh, it's hit Veslanovic and just gently rolls past the goalkeeper as Souza heads that down to Tesla. Tesla squares it. Thompson's there. He shoots. It's blocked. Cleared away. Oh, man. What a terrible start. Mikel Arejo. Is it the same Mikel Arejo? Brazilian? Yes, it is. Bought for 2 million, sold for 10. Has now come on loan to Heyduk from Borussia Mönchengladbach. He was a legend for us. He was absolutely brilliant. Um, we're actually going to drop this to positive, but play a little bit, if we can, play a little bit wider. Yeah, uh, like that. Which just... Oh, man, we're in a funk at the moment in the league. Is Tesla with a header? It's blocked. Aquino shoots. That's blocked as well. Goalkeepers are like Superman against us at the moment. It's very, very annoying. Thompson with the ball in. Petrovic makes the save. Again, look at that one shot, one on target, one goal. I'm getting fucked off with that happening in Football Manager to me at the moment. Fode into Tosic. Tosic to Fode again. Fore comes forward. Gets round the tackle of Greaves. Aquino into Antonio. But he's giving it away to Vargas. And Vargas comes forward. Gonzalez makes the save. It's just so frustrating. Oh. Like, they don't deserve to be in the lead. This would take us down to fifth. This would be absolutely disastrous, to be honest. Um, Tosic with the ball up. Draculic wins the header. Greaves into Mikel Arejo, back to Draculic, Svek into Draculic again, into Svek, Mikel Arejo, Vargas is put under pressure, it's blocked and can we counter, Souza comes forward with it, looks to come round, I think I'm going to have to tweak the tactics a little bit, Antonio into Souza again, ball across, it's blocked, gets another chance, in it goes, Marco Antonio keeps it alive, Forde gets a shot off, that's blocked, Forde gets it back again and his shot goes over the bar, oh man, we might have to have a complete rethink of tactics because, I don't know, it seems like the teams in Croatia have sort of cottoned on to how we play and, and what we're doing and it's not really working anymore Tosic, Aquino into Tesla with the header, Petrovic with the save I mean, it happens in real life a lot of people like Guardiola, Klopp they always have to adapt a little bit to how they're playing um, so maybe we just do but we are all over Hey Duke now it's just that Petrovic is saving everything see, a oh he's just missed that one he didn't even save it but, oh man, it's so frustrating because we're battering them we are battering them come on, demand more I think we would make some changes at half time. We'll drop the defensive line back a little bit. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I just don't know. Five points off top. This is so unlike us. This this doesn't happen to us at the moment. I've got I've got complacent. I think with my with my team structure and my team and yeah, I don't know. Are we really missing Ignacio Fernandez that much in the middle of the park? We never used to. Milan comes forward with it all the way around to the back and there's a header and again easy for Petrovic that one good work from the right back Milan but yeah I don't know I don't know what we can do okay um, assertively I expect to see a much better showing and then assertively there's a lot more to come from all of you because there definitely is I do have faith in them I do because we've done this we've come back from these sort of positions so many times right let's go Attacking width wide. Um, 
let's use the flanks let's go a little bit more direct we can slow the tempo down let's run at them be more expressive and here we will don't have to go slow let's go to the flank straight away um, and let's drop our line of engagement and our defensive line back let's get rid of the offside trap for a little bit we'll drop our thing down don't get stuck in but do don't allow them to play it out from the back and let's go attacking a few little tactical tweaks then I know Rugani is always there for potential to get caught out with a ball over the top but really should be doing better than this we'll just ask him to update his instructions for the opposition hmm Milan into Aquino Aquino comes forward ball in there's Thompson it's over the bar it's over the bar I completely forgot I'd left Tesla on in a deep line playmaker role I don't think oh he's playing on a 6.9 actually and Aquino is on a 6.6 .6. so yeah let's just swap those two over like so yeah I don't know we might have to revert back to how we won in the first game I guess uh, in the Super Cup because we absolutely smashed them as Thompson hits a free kick straight into the wall keeps it in play puts a cross in looking for Tesla comes to Milan though and nothing comes of it. Marco Antonio is having a bit of a stinker as well. He's going to come off and be replaced by Contreras. Uh, let's get a few more men forward. Mazala on attack. And a Mazala on Let's go back for a double Mazala. That worked at one point, didn't it, during this save. Uh, demand a little bit more of them. Yeah, Rugani's, Rugani's past it. I think I'm going to have to stop playing him. I have to go back to Veselnovic and Benkovic, I think. So all subs done. We're playing attacking. We're battering them. Possession and shots. Contreras with a ball in. Veselinovic will pick up. Back to Contreras. Back post. Four days there. He's on side. It's 1-1. Come on. Right. That's better. Their marking was absolutely shocking from that ball. That, that thing. When it got recycled back round. It was headed away by Vargas. And they just completely left Fode unmarked. All got drawn over this way towards the ball. They actually left lots of people at the back post unmarked. But four days there. Keeping his good goal scoring record up. And uh, right, that moves us back up to fourth. I really do want us to go and get another one, though, guys. If we can just not be happy with that and just keep pressing, um, and let's go tactics. Wing back on attack. Uh, wing back on attack. We're going to overlap left and right as well. We're going to send men forward. I don't care. Well, I want the win. I just want the win. And we need to go and get it. Being fourth on the table as NK Zagreb after everything we've bought them up. Bought all the leagues all the way through. Dominating this league. We need to go and get results. We really do. And uh, there's three minutes of added time. And we're not going to do it, are we? Benkovic. Contreras. Contreras. Thompson just about keeps that ball into our hands. Ferrari into Tosic. Tosic. Ball in. Contreras. Oh, it's gone wide. I mean, it's a computer game. I'm watching dots on a screen. I'm watching pixels, and I'm getting far too involved in this. And there's the goal kick, and there's the full-time whistle. We've battered them. Two shots on target, and one of them went in. I just don't... Is it just that we're literally... We're just missing DG Giacomo? I think that might just be it. A big injury to our star striker, and and it's all gone tits up. Oh. Yeah, I know. I really need to rest Tosic. Um, I'm going to rest you for the next match. Yeah, good. You appreciate it. Oh, man. This should be... The thing is, I'm going to rest everyone for a day because I want my best team to go and play Dynamo. We just need to hit hit some form. I mean, have I been chopping and changing it a bit too much? I mean, that 3-0 Super Cup win, we're all over them. But DJ Como scored. Um, see, he didn't score in that game. And then that's when we went to the Libero. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to have a play around with the tactics, I think, and we have to come back to something which suits our new or the updated squad we've got. I think that is the end of the Rugani time. I think I'm going to stick with Benkovic back there. He's not Benkovic isn't as good, but you know he's been trustworthy all the way through. Six foot two, good jumping reach. He's been trustworthy. He's played very well. He's played very very well for us. Even this season when he's played, he's actually played very well. So yeah, I guess. Yes, it's, we're going to build it around this. This seems to work the best for us, this shape. I just need to get the player roles right and 
think again about attacking. Maybe we we go back to having runners from midfield rather than from the wings. We get put these guys back on support. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a think. But thank you very much for watching. Again, not the best episode. A smashing from Juventus and a draw in the league, which really is unlike us. But, yeah, thank you for watching. We'll be back for the next episode, which will be someone in the Champions League. I can't remember who it is. I think it's Porto that we'll be back for. And we'll see you then. Cheers.